Hey guys, it's me, Anime World 21, and, or uh, other known as Michelle. And here's another tutorial. Today I'm gonna teach you two things because I feel like it'd be too short if I did one of them, so I just added two of them in here. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make, um, or actually do expression changes for your character. How to do that um, cool bounce effect with your character when they change expressions. And how to do the panning effect that I usually do in my series, which is something very noticeable. So what you wanna do, so you open up your Sony Vegas. And right now, I think I'll teach you uh, second one first. So if, um, choose out the two emotions you would like the thing to, or your character to change over to. So just grab the two images. So now that you have those two images, um, what you wanna do is that, if you have like some sort of scene going on, what you wanna do is go to track motion, this box right here. If you wanna place your character, whatever, leave them like this, whatever, it's up to you. But just place them in an area that you'd think you'd like, like if you'd want them to go up it, over here, up there. I'm gonna put Blake right here. So now what you wanna do. So what you wanna do is go to the spot where your two characters expressions changes. So mine would be right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna focus over here. As you can see in track motion, there's these things, this thing right here. I like to call it the dots. So dots. So what you wanna do is you wanna add a dot in the position where your characters change. So you hit this, create keyframe. Okay, so it's a keyframe. So you just hit that and it'll make a dot. So you wanna make three of these, one on each side evenly. So from the spot that you're at right now, use your keyboard. You might wanna zoom in a little bit with your mouse because sometimes if you're far away, I think it makes the um, seconds a little longer. That's why you should zoom in as close as you can for your stuff with your mouse uh, scroller or whatever. So what do you wanna do is click on here, then use your um, two arrow keys on your keyboard and move to the side three times for each side. So it'd be like here, one, two, three. Add a keyframe, go back to here, then the other way, one, two, three. So, now that you got the three dots, what you wanna do is go to the middle, and now you wanna bring, you, um, so this is what I do when I pull it down. So you zoom in. So what you wanna do is that you hit this um, prevent scale X stuff, turn that on. And then what you wanna do is the scale about center next to that X thing, turn it off. So this way, when you move him down, um, both sides won't go. And this will just make it where he'll go downwards and he won't expand or go this way. So what you wanna do is grab this corner and what you wanna do is pull it a little bit. Don't pull it too much or the bounce is gonna be a little too much. Make sure you compare your stuff to see if the bounce is too much. And as you can see, it's perfect. So now, let's check it out. Voila, character change bounce. Um, I would like to also show what I usually do. If you have a face, um, like the neutral face, like the blink, and you want to change it to here, this is another smooth way of doing it. So basically it's the same thing, but all you want to do is just bring, bring um, your blink. Just replace what you had in the blink. And what you want to do is use um, your two keyboard buttons, whatever, the arrows on your keyboard, and go to, um, before this, go to the left two times. So one, two, and you want to pull this in. So now you want to get the second blink frame. 
and then you just want to put it in that spot right there so this way now when he bounces it'll have like a cool smooth effect to the face instead of just making the blink go into the expression you want so it'll just be like woo see nice and smooth so about the other thing I want to teach you, it's very quick. It's just the pan crop effect thing. So I'm go what you need to do is you have to render the scene that you want. I'm going to render it. So now, now that you have that rendered clip now, what you want to do is go over here to the event pan crop stuff. And these dots, these dots represent what changes in your camera angle. So like what we did with the um, track motion stuff, it's going to change. So like if you made a keyframe here and then you made it here. The keyframe you had before will slowly zoom into this keyframe that you changed into. Get me? So like over here, you have it normal. Then when it's over here, it'll zoom in because you made it like that. So basically that's what you do for your pan crop. So. Um, zoom in, just make an, a keyframe and then just zoom it in. And then it'll immediately do that. Here, I'll let you see. See? Immediately zooms in. If you want like a side to side effect, what you want to do is your first keyframe in front. Just move it to the one side. Make another keyframe wherever you want. And then just slowly make like um, it go to the side, and immediately pan crop. Woo! But what you want to make sure is that you in the um whatever is in between this, do not do anything in between the two keyframes you want, because if you make something like, for example, maybe if I do it like this, if I made a keyframe there. That's going to trans make go to this and this is going to go to that. And example would be um, like this. So you see it went to that keyframe and not went to the other. So when you do your pan crop stuff, just make sure there's nothing in between the two keyframes that you made and everything will be deadly dang good. <laughs> All right. I hope you understand as easily as I wanted it to make it. I'm not really in the right mind right now. I'm really tired, I guess. But, <sighs> whatevers. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you were able to understand this tutorial. And I'll see you guys maybe in the next one. Bye, guys!